Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Arithmetic Lesson 147. Today, we're going to do a review for your test tomorrow. So make sure that you're paying attention to the examples and you are uh, working out the problems on your worksheet paper. We are going to, um, you guys should know that all of the things on today's paper will show up on the test tomorrow. So if there's something that you're not understanding, that you don't know how to find the answer to, please, please, please go over it on the worksheet, ask your parents, ask Ms. Ortiz, you can even reach out to me, make sure that you understand how to work the problems, okay? The steps that you need in order to get the answers because everything on today's paper, the day before the test, is almost always on the test tomorrow. Boys and girls, let's begin with some review. Let's divide. Three divided by three equals one. One times three equals three. Three minus three equals zero. Zero is less than three, so we can bring down. We bring down the five and the five divided by three equals one. One times three equals three. Excuse me. Five minus three equals two. Two is less than three, so you can bring down the six. 26 divided by three equals eight. Eight times three equals 24. 26 minus 24 equals two. Now, two is less than three, but there's nothing else to bring down. That tells me two is my remainder. We need to write two as a fraction. Two goes on top, and then the three, that divisor, goes on the bottom. So our answer is eight, 118 and two thirds. Okay, let's try one more. Six divided by four equals one. One times four equals four. Six minus four equals two. Two is less than four, so we bring down the eight. 28 divided by four equals seven. Seven times four equals 28. 28 minus 28 is zero. Zero is less than four, so we bring down the one. One, one divided by four equals zero. Zero times four equals four. I'm sorry, zero times four equals zero. One to take away zero equals one. One is less than four, so we bring down the two. 12 divided by four equals three. Three times four equals 12, and 12 minus 12 equals zero. 1,703. Okay, boys and girls, remember division is very, it takes a lot of steps, but go slowly. Make sure you do all your steps at the, for each of the problems. Do you remember? Um, a while back, I taught you, but I believe Miss um, Ortiz should have taught you. Remember, you do you do divide. I always put my hand like this: divide, then multiply, subtract, compare. C for compare. Bring down, and then we start again. Divide, multiply, compare. I'm sorry, subtract, compare, bring down. One more time, divide, that's like the slash, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. Okay, boys and girls, let's move on. Let's do some examples of the multiplication we did yesterday. That is to do two digit multiplied by two digits. So first we're gonna work the problem with the ones column. The ones column has a two in it. So we're gonna multiply 45 times two. We'll start with the five times two is 10. Bring down the zero and bring up the one, okay? Two times four equals eight and eight plus one equals nine. Now, after we're done with that, we need to erase what's in that box. When we erase what's in that box, then we need to multiply the um, the tens column. The tens column has a one in it, but we need our spacer, that zero that stays there, 
before we do that. Again, I apologize for that not being there, but you need to put the zero in the ones place and then multiply 45 times one. So one times five is five and one times four is four. And then those two numbers are called add ins, I'm sorry, partial fact, partial products. And when we add the two partial products, we get a final product, 540. Let's do another one. 32 times five. Two times five is 10. Put down the zero, bring, down, Ms. bring up the are one. Are you in your classroom? We always get interrupted by that, don't we? So let's go ahead and multiply now the three times five. Three times five is 15, plus one equals 16. We erase the one in the box because we might need that box again later. We won't need it in this problem, but we need to remember to do that. So erase the one. We put the zero underneath in the ones place because we're not multiplying by the ones column anymore. We're multiplying by the tens column. When we do that, we have two times one is two and three times one is three. So we have 320. Those two numbers are our partial products. When we add them together, we get our final product. Okay. All right. We're going to do some more review for things that are going to show up on your test. This here is averaging numbers. Let's remember we, when we add a set of numbers, the number that we get the answer with is called our sum. We need to divide that sum by the number of add-ins. So when we had 15, 20, we divide by four and now we get 380. That's our middle number. And that is what we call our average of those numbers. If, you're, if you need help um, with that, go back to previous videos and we'll explain it to you again. Lowest terms, we're reducing one fourth of 29. We went over this yesterday as well. 29 divided by four, 29 divided by four is seven. And how many is left over? Good, one is left over. And we put that one as a fraction, one over four. Excellent job. So our answer will be seven and one fourth. The next one, oh, somehow we missed that one. Okay, so it says one tenth of 23. We have 23, we divide 23 by 10. When we divide 23 by 10, it goes in two times, two whole times. And there's three left over, and we need to write that three as a fraction. When we do that, we have two and three tenths. Okay, boys and girls, um, we're gonna also go to your seat work page. These um, questions are on your seat work page. And we'll talk first about rounding to the nearest dollar. We haven't done that in a while. We have a dollar ninety-five. Now, remember that rounding to the nearest dollar, we look at the dollar amount and we look to the right. To the right is a nine. Okay, that's in the tens place, right? Tenths place, I should say. The nine. Remember our trick of four and below we round down, and five and above we round up. So we need to remember that nine is above, so we're gonna go up. So is, is $1.95 closer to $1 or closer to $2? $2 is correct. How about $9.98? Is it closer to $9 or closer to $10? Good, it's $10. And the last one, $21.48. Is that closer to $21 or $22? Now this is a little bit more tricky because you're looking at the ones column, that's a number one, but then you're going to go back and look to the, the four, which is in the tenths column, and four and below we round down. Very good, so is it $21 or $22? $21 is correct, very good. Number six on your worksheet says add the fractions. Four sevenths plus two sevenths, four plus two is six, so six sevenths minus three sevenths, six minus three is three, minus one seventh, 
Good, and your answer is two sevenths. Let's see how quick it can be. Five sixteenths plus seven sixteenths minus four sixteenths plus three sixteenths. Excellent, very good, 11 sixteenths. Very nice. Now here's some more um, simplifying. So you have one fourth of 17. Divide 17 by four and you get four whole. And how many are left over? One, and how do I make that a fraction? One fourth. You're getting this, it's easy, right? So same thing with one half of 18. Well, that's kind of easy. We know that half of 18 is what number? Nine, because it goes in evenly, very good. And 1 11th of 77, that also goes in evenly. Do you know a multiplication um, sentence that is related to 77 divided by 11? 11 times 7. Excellent job. Okay, boys and girls, you're going to complete this worksheet front and back. There's some homework um, on the bottom of that page as well on page 294. And again, you have a test tomorrow. So good luck on that and let us know how you're doing. Um, say hi to Ms. Ortiz for me on Google Meet. We will see you back for lesson 149 the next day. You have a great day, boys and girls.